This video is another submission from Bruce Bradley, one of our valued clients. He's been doing saltwater etching using his El Cheapo laser and would like to show you all how to do it. He's even put a little bonus tip at the end for focusing your laser. We hope you enjoy the video. Hey y'all, uh, I'm uh, using a 10 watt El Cheapo laser today and I'm going to basically show you how I do the ink etching. I mean, let's see, it's kind of hard to see with this, but I'm gonna kind of move off the side to where you're still able to not get the laser. And you can look, you can kind of see the, the uh, I'm using flat um, primer for a vehicle. That's what I'm using and you spray it on there very evenly. If it doesn't, you're gonna wind up running into issues. It's gotta be very even. You can see how crisp it is. Uh, there's a little bit left, left on, but the solution I'm using is salt water, a special kind of salt. Uh, it's called uh, co kosher salt. Coarse, or it doesn't matter if it's coarse, but as long as it's kosher salt. That's what I've found on YouTube and it's mixed with distilled water. Note though, what I'm doing, what I'm working on is stainless steel. It's for a customer, uh, actually, it's a re, um, I'm happy to make them another part because I accidentally mirrored the project somehow. But uh, note though, if you're dealing with stainless steel, make sure you're well aware of how to dispose of it because it's got certain type of, type of chemicals that are poisonous. In it and so if you're messing with this stuff if you're messing with the etching and you're using that the solution the salt water make sure you're wearing gloves when you're handling it uh, I mean right now the volt the power supplies is running the laser but once we're done we'll wind up using this we'll collect we'll, put, we'll uh, connect the positive lead to the plate itself because the bottom is bare so it will have the connection to the plate itself um, let me see, this one, I think, yeah, I want it spraying on the other side because uh, this, this side was a bad spray. But you see, it's bare. You'd want to clamp it on the clean side. Uh, just, just clamping down on it with your positive. Take your negative, you attach it to your, to a, uh, to a pair of pliers that's got ground protection on it. And you'd use a cotton ball or a rag and you essentially just dip it and you just rub it back and forth. And what it does is it, uh, the electrons kind of bounce back and forth through the salt water because the salt's kind of what helps to make it, uh, makes it easier for the voltage to travel back and forth between the between the two metals, uh, making it more conductive. That's at least my understanding of it. Um, so yeah, I'll catch you in a minute. Back when it, once it's done. Okay, uh, I nearly forgot. I apologize. Um, so. I actually finished both parts and yeah so this is what it looks like after you the laser is done and it's a little bit it's a slightly smidget gray because you still have the soot a little bit of the soot left over um, from the laser burning so it's actually kind of gray ish you can fool you thinking that you know I just kind of push the paint down but it actually burned through um, you let's see if I can't get the focus you can see that it clearly etches in there and it's enough that you can actually slightly feel it. I mean, that was only me about sitting on it for about, I don't know, 30 seconds, kind of rubbing back and forth, 30, you know, 30 seconds, maybe a minute. And I had a lot of them to do, so it was kind of, I mean, you got a little polish to, to do to better see it more, you know, more easily. But, uh, yeah. I mean, obviously the longer you let it sit, deeper it gets as you can see that 25 and uh, 250 was sat on it's a little bit longer because it's, it's deeper very uh, very vividly deeper and especially that one uh, yeah um, slab over the bench that I'm actually currently cleaning with I'd recommend acetone but do wear gloves because paint thinner doesn't seem to work all that well if especially if you're using uh, if you use uh, you painted it like a week ago the primer uh, hardens to be a paint, it, it becomes very hard and it's a pain to come off. That's what I found out. And currently, what I'm doing 
with the other piece is cleaning it. But I mean, look, you can see this one, it doesn't have as many scratches, how easy it is to pick out. So, yeah. I hope that uh, helps. I mean, I'm using, uh, you can use a little bit of alcohol, which doesn't work as well, but it's, it's definitely safer. Uh, you can always use paint thinner, which I had a little bit left in this jar, which is what I was trying to use, but uh, I mean, paint thinner is only good if the, if the paint's on, it's been on there for no longer than a day. So otherwise, the, the paint becomes very hard, like a, like a plastic shell, and it's, you're not really getting anywhere. You gotta exhaust your arms with rubbing it back and forth, all that friction causing it to warm up, then it finally starts to, starts to soften. So yeah, it's a pain, but uh, yeah, it can be done. I and mean, as you can see, I, this one came out a little better than the other one. Look how much crisper it is. Um, so yeah, El Chico. I love the I love the laser. Oh, another little uh, another little tip. If y'all, for those who are watching, don't already know, uh, I've been messing with it for nine months, and it just dawned on me the. Whenever you're setting the focus and you get it close to where it's really small, a helpful thing to do is to take a, you know, whether it be an envelope, a little sheet of paper, and, I mean, if you look closely, you you can see, like, a couple dots. You should be able to stick it in there and hear a little bit of a, a, a static sound. You should be able to pull it out and you should be able to see some dots or something. That tells you that you're very close to focus. You should be able to barely tweak it any, you know, just a little bit more and just start hearing it on your actual part. Then you know you part, then you know you focus on your part. That's just something I figured I just recently picked up the past couple days and I wanted to share. So, uh, yeah, that, that'll help cut, that'll definitely help cut down your, your, uh, your focusing time because, uh, I still, you know, if it weren't for that, I'd still take me a half hour to an hour to get the focus right because I don't I don't trust my eyes, my eyes, are, I just don't trust them. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so that's uh, etching on stainless steel. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.